Microsoft HoloLens is back, and it's been significantly improved from before. HoloLens 2, the new version of the company's three-year-old mixed reality headset, is now available to order for $3,500, and it could be one of the coolest augmented reality devices that I've ever seen. Using HoloLens makes you feel like you're in the Star Wars universe, or maybe a little bit more scarily an episode of Black Mirror, but it is actually a really cool concept. Basically, you can see the real world, but artificial things are overlaid on top of your real world view, which gives you the ability to do all kinds of different things. For instance, if you're putting together parts of a bike or putting together parts of something else, HoloLens can actually give you step-by-step -step instructions with arrows pointing to the correct parts that you need to use, and it can actually tell you firsthand how to put them together by pointing to the exact parts that you need. The HoloLens 2 is designed for companies to help their employees because AR has actually become a tool for getting things done. And this time round, HoloLens 2 has improved comfort, a better field of view, and better hand and eye tracking, which are all things that make the experience a whole lot better. It's also connected to more Microsoft Cloud services and will actually fold into iOS and Android apps as well. What made the original HoloLens so cool is that there were absolutely no wires attached and it was just a self-contained experience. HoloLens 2 looks like last year's model, but it's noticeably less bulky and it feels like it weighs a lot less because the weight distribution has actually been shifted this time round, so the thicker bit at the back now fits around the rear head strap and the front facing visor is smaller. Microsoft wants this to feel kind of like putting on a baseball cap and while they might not be quite at that point yet, it is definitely really cool that they're getting this as small and as capable as this thing is. Another really cool thing about HoloLens 2 is that it actually has really good eye tracking, and the eye tracking is designed to do two things. It can measure eye movement and use it to interact with virtual objects. Microsoft uses the new eye tracking cameras for biometric security as well, and something else that's really cool is that HoloLens 2's eye tracking actually works through regular glasses. There are actually a whole bunch of practical uses of eye tracking. Enterprise software from companies like Toby actually uses eye tracking to create analytics and heat maps of where you're looking to improve training, and this could be used like for instance to help train airplane pilots, or something else where hand-eye coordination is really, really important. The HoloLens 2 also expands its field of view to 52 degrees, which Microsoft says is over double the effective viewing area, and the resolution is increased to the equivalent of a 2K display per eye versus the original HoloLens's 720p per eye, although the density of the images is still the same at 47 pixels per degree. Just to reiterate, there are no physical controllers with the HoloLens 2 at all. Microsoft is relying completely on hand tracking and voice controls. Hand tracking has actually improved quite a bit this time as well. The sensors can now recognize up to 25 points of articulation per hand through the wrists and fingers, plus can recognize the direction of palms, which means finger bending, hand motion, and an ability to pick things up. HoloLens 2 is a really interesting device because it's not completely clear what the actual best applications of this are going to be just yet. The idea of a step-by-step -step guide to put something together is really cool, and it could help employees learn to do something while on the job, and that's something that is pretty invaluable, especially to save time of employers. But the truth is, there's actually a whole lot more potential in the future for even more that HoloLens could do. The truth is, I've never really been a huge fan of artificial reality. When I used HoloLens in Microsoft Store last year, it felt pretty clunky, and honestly, it wasn't that great at recognizing gesture control but with HoloLens 2, Microsoft has really taken some of that criticism into account and has worked to make a device that works a whole lot better and more seamlessly. But with that said, give me your opinions on HoloLens 2 in the comment section down below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you're excited about what the future holds, and with this said, I will see you next time.